Super Idol the Charong Don't make me do ten by a chunk for the Guys, what's the issue? What's the problem? What's the what's the issue? I I don't see an issue. There there really is never an issue, but they just like to make issues all the time. Uh I saw this shit yesterday. This is so stupid. Twitter is so stupid, bro. I don't understand. So they're trying to cancel Asmund Gold because uh what he said about AI and art and artists and shit. Yeah, let's just go ahead and fucking watch it. Ready to expect me to draw a moral line. I have to perceive a difference that I consider substantial. And I do not consider the difference substantial. Do you guys? No. Right. No. And that's really what matters. If it was made with AI, I'm completely okay with that because it was fun. The evidence it is doesn't that matter. Nobody really cares the lead about this. developer has been very positive about AI in the past yeah. and made an AI game. We're going to play this, by a the way. Yeah, again, like AI is um, even before, you know, people really started talking about it ever since the chat GPT shit, but really AI has been being used for like years now. And people are now just starting to catch on because I guess they're losing their job. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand because I, I'm trying to get some voice acting roles and shit. And now they're like, oh, they're allowing AI and shit in here. And it's just, uh, there's some weird deal with SAG after. I'm not in SAG after, so I don't really care. But like, they, they kind of screwed over the, the voice actors a little bit. I will say that. But either way, I mean, it's not wrong. I mean, AI has been being used for years. Um, it makes things easier. That's just a fact. So. I art imposter that lets yeah. an AI artist draw a picture, and so that that was like like one of the yeah, games. We're gonna, and, we're gonna be playing and, this this week. Yes, just generally has been much more uh, positive about some of the benefits of AI rather than what is the. Oh, this is also this is <laughs> this is about Power World and um, AI accusations. amongst artists and and you know I guess general uh, Twitter population, which is that you know AI is bad and it takes jobs from well, people. Well, AI and the sentiment from artists. Artists' opinions don't matter. It just doesn't matter. Because what matters is the opinion of the people that are buying the product. Like, it doesn't, like, your opinion on it, like, just because you do it doesn't, like, nobody cares. Like, it, 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 it's not, it's not relevant. Yeah, I mean, you know how they say, the customer's always right. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's pretty obvious. I mean, yeah, it sucks for artists and shit and like the people that were making a product and that are going to be affected by it but like again just like how i sit with pow world i mean it, you can tell their inspirations were took by like four or five different games off the bat um really easily but it's a good game and that's really all that matters yeah that's why like in my other videos i'm just like it's a good ass game you know steal all they want as long as the game is fucking good <laughs> you know if they possibly i don't know I, I again i don't think they can get sued i i think power world is just doing just fine people i mean we, we don't blatantly steal people don't blatantly steal a lot or like are bold with it you know they usually change it up a lot they they say artists you know they draw like you you know how artists go to museums and stuff or you know look for inspiration and stuff that's not considered stealing it's just called inspiration <laughs> inspiration you could say all art is pretty much stolen you can say all art is pretty much stolen like I mean at that point because it's all everything people see is inspiration. They just, they, they take references from everything they see. Pretty much every idea is stolen, bro. So, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, in a way, he's not wrong. And uh, there's all a bunch of, like, uh, I show, like, the charts from Twitter. Souls-like games. Um, survival games, you know, based off of, uh, you know, people from Minecraft and shit. So, I mean, like... Oh my gosh, there's so many freaking Minecraft type, Minecraft like survival games like back on the 360 that I had. Yeah, so I mean, it's all like, and Minecraft couldn't do any or, or didn't do anything about it. Because again, it's just all inspiration, you know? As long as the game is good. <laughs>
but I mean, it can be a bad game too. I mean, all in all, it's just, it's just how games are. It's just how with like shooter games too, you know, evolved over time. People just keep, you know, adding on, adding on little things. It's like whenever one of these like, you know, really well-respected and, and really respectable uh, directors talks about how bad Marvel is. Shut up, old man. <laughs> Shut up. I like watching the Thor movie. It was cool. <laughs> so fucking you know, that was dumb. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Marvel movies are kind of shit. I'm not gonna lie. But anyways, yeah, you you get what he's saying. Basically, AI. I mean, yeah, it may suck for the artist and stuff. But again, it don't really matter. It just matters what the consumer thinks. And there, there was another tweet. I don't know what the fuck it said. Anyways, he said, for the record, I don't care about Power World versus Pokemon discussion, but I know when something is wrong. Play whatever you want to play, but don't disrespect the artist or stay stupid shit like as one did. Have a nice day. But he's right. He's literally right, though. Yeah, and they, they took some shit out of context, too. Anyways, but he's right. Like, literally everything he said in a clip is correct. Huh, by that logic, if people were to enjoy AI, pump out several deep fake videos of him saying a bunch of humiliate, humiliating stuff, his opinion wouldn't matter because it's what people enjoy. I mean, he wouldn't mind losing his job and he clearly doesn't care about ethics either. But I mean, he's right. I mean, shit. <laughs> um, art is subjective, so people will still like it. You know, there's a bunch of meme pages and shit that use AI now, which is, is kind of annoying, but you know. It works. It works. And, you know, you see Mr. Krabs and, like, got a Glock and some shit. And people are like, hey, he looks cool as shit. You know, keep him coming. Yeah. So, I mean, it works. It doesn't matter as long as what the consumer thinks. You know, half the time, they probably, or sooner or later, they probably won't even be able to tell the difference. They'll be like, oh, this is a good piece of art. Um, nice job. And they will never know that it's AI. And then when they say it's AI, it's like, oh, this is bad. This artwork is shit. It's ugly. And <laughs> like, bro, I swear that's going to happen. He lost me when he said artist opinions don't matter. Like, bro, AI literally samples their art without them. There is no AI. That is true. But again, he's talking about like the consumer consuming, um, like the products. It only matters what the consumer thinks. And he's saying that, um, they don't really give a shit about, the artists. I mean, in terms of like them losing jobs and shit and, um, you know, their, their shit getting stolen, as long as it looks good, just like with Power World, as long as it's good, you know, they'll buy it and they'll play it. Just like me, I'm still playing the damn game. I got like 20 hours in the game, bro. 20 hours in Power World. Uh, yeah, they used AI, but, um, they used it well. Yeah. I mean, no complaints. They, if they can do the job better, or if it makes the job more efficient, then yeah, sure. If the game is fun, if I'm enjoying it, that's all that matters, right? There's nothing valuable about a man who sleeps in a pile of garbage and refuses to brush his teeth has to... Okay. He's right logically, but suck that the live. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he says, but the hardest. I'm like, oh, okay. But like, uh, overall, his, his point is true. This video goes a long way, but this is how business works. It's a dark world, okay? But it doesn't have to be. Yeah, I mean, so they resort. It's funny, in the tweets, they just resort to, like, just shitting on him. Like, their opinions don't matter. His room is dirty. Like, okay, you know, his room might be dirty. It might be ugly as shit, but he's spitting facts. So, I... I yeah, I do. He's 100% right, and people who disagree is just in their feelings. Yeah, because they're just coming up with points that are just completely irrelevant. Like, I don't understand. Are companies going to continue paying artists what they deserve or get a robot to create the same art for a fraction of the price? And instantly, Pal World would be $60 instead of $30. Yes, that is true. Uh, would it be $60 and I'll still buy it? Well, I got it on Game Pass, so it really didn't fucking matter. It didn't really. <laughs> but would I buy it for 60 bucks? Yeah, I mean, I'm getting a lot of time out of the game, to be fair. So yeah, I mean, I, I would spend 60 bucks on it, even though I think it's still like a $30 game. No, because I, I'm just thinking about how big it is. I mean, I was just thinking how the, the, the area is, but it's still in game preview though. Yeah, so let's just talk about that a year from now, maybe. Sure. But again, yeah, I would, even in the swarm, I would probably still spend $60 on it, even though I still think it's maybe a, a little bit too much. I don't know. You're not entitled to my money. Just because you're an artist, you all are about to get a rude awakening. <laughs> As Mangoto's right, yes, 
His point still stands, though. If the product is good, people are still going to buy it regardless, as it has always been with things in life. From the wealthy, you don't care if their diamonds, where their diamonds are coming from, to your average individual that doesn't care that McDonald's doesn't have the best quality beef, if it's really beef. <laughs> like, it's, it's actually funny. Because their whole thing, like, oh my gosh, McDonald's, there's a whole bunch of videos on YouTube, like, uh, maybe like 2015, 20 years, like, McDonald's meat is fake, it's all fake, dirty, sticky, fake, filthy, and people still buy it. Yeah, they still buy it, they still eat it. Yeah, they don't care. Americans, am I right? Uh, anyways, no, but I mean, it's just everybody in general. I mean, American version is, like, worse, but, you know. How do people manage to take seriously the opinion of a guy that can't even clean their yeah this is the only thing they can come up with that he's filthy yes we know he's filthy i mean you don't have to say it uh every time he makes a logical statement that makes sense he's right actually he's 100 percent right if you disagree you have a skill issue or you're just stupid this was the guy y'all were blowing up for playing monster oh my gosh think he's a genius no he's just um He's not a genius, he just has common sense. Are you just going to call the dude names or actually elaborate? Yeah. Hey, most of his are just reacting to other people's videos. They're actually not. See, everybody replying that's like disagreeing with him, they're not, they're not like coming up with a reason why he's wrong. They're just saying that, they're, they're just coming up with irrelevant responses to the video. They're just bringing up um, just things about his life and no, his videos aren't just reacting. <laughs> he 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 games and shit, you know, and he uh he gives opinions and stuff. He's not just reactions. Like he's been posting shit since like 2010. The only shit that just gets viral is really just his reaction vids. And yeah, he does he still does a lot on like on YouTube, but like he does a lot of gaming too. Like a lot. Like he's doing a lot of Power World streams and shit. He did all, he's just a monster hunter. Artist opinions don't matter. What matters is the opinion of the people buying the product you boy what the what do you mean what the hell he's right he's right it doesn't matter it, re it really doesn't matter the stankiest take in recent history i truly don't give a shit if, if it's related to power world i've stopped caring about any discussions surrounding that game but this involves a bigger point surrounding ai being used by studios while layoffs in the industry keep happening and that's something you should well, I mean, yeah, but like, you can't really do shit about it. it. It sucks, but like, that's this is the reality. Like, this is gonna become real. AI is gonna like take a lot of jobs and shit because it's just more efficient. It will will be in the future. Again, of course, the guy who built a career off of other people's content thinks stealing art is all right. Well, he probably doesn't think that, but like, again, but he's telling the truth. It's kind of correct here. It's harsh, but that's how things work. If AI gets good enough to be unrecognizable, game studios will use it and there's nothing you can do about it. Yup, it's how progress makes, how progress works. You can be angry on Twitter as much as you want, but your anger stays, but your anger stays on the internet, changing nothing in the real world. Yes, agree. They're just taking like little snippets of like, oh my gosh, he said this about me, wow. And then they're just they're just attacking that just one little mees, measly statement. Uh, we forgot to preface it with what he said immediately before. The sentiments from artists is artists' opinions don't matter. This tells me you don't argue in good faith. A few words make it from his opinion to speak of others' opinions. <laughs> in general, even if he said artists' opinions don't matter, I'd be... Yeah, I'd be... Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't say they don't, but like again, at the end of the day, as long as the consumer likes the product, that's all that um, superly matters. He's not wrong. LOL. Who's buying the product? The artists thought the main goal of business is to sell it to your consumers, not to get the opinion of other artists. I'm a professional graphic designer, and he's right. The general public doesn't give a fuck, and honestly, the general public doesn't care what looks good or even bad. AI is scary, but it's also a tool. Artists need to figure out how to use it as part of their progress. Or process. He also said our opinions don't matter. Like bro, AI literally samples their art without them. There is no AI. Well, I mean, they, there's a bunch of samples out there already. Yeah, you kind of don't need artists anymore. I'm not gonna lie. Like there, there's already a lot of samples and shit. They can just make samples of the samples. Forever, however else you want to say that. You're not getting the context or the point. What he's saying is reality. Millions of people are playing it. People don't like sweatshops either, but they will all shop at stores that use it. 
Yep. People who disagree are over emotional, to be honest. History has seen major pushback in every technological leap, even though it benefited man, humankind as a whole. I'll be real, if I can get a burger for $12 or near similar made for $4 by a robot, I'm gonna get whichever one's cheaper. Yeah. I mean, especially if that margin, 4 to 12, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> I know the money could go towards someone else's family and help them out, but I'll be real, I got enough issues of my own to worry about. Uh, I believe AI will be very useful in the future. It can help a lot of people. There will be downsides currently, but long-term humanity will benefit massively. Yep. Um, yeah. He's right. I'm not surprised this take comes from someone whose idea of content is reacted. Why is this? Though? This is literally the only thing they come up with. This is I, this is probably the tenth time I've seen this comment. Holy shit! It's just a reaction comment, reaction, reaction. They do more than reactions. I don't think they understand. Like they they do more than reactions. The reason why they're up at the top is because they did more. They do or did more than reactions in the past. But I know Tech Tone. He plays games. He makes his own clan. Like, I... uh, this is really disappointing to hear, man. Pushing for AR art without raising the question of its ethics. Just because you enjoy it or it's cheaper is just sad. You can't make passion or creativity with this shit. AI has its issues, but not for anything creative. Yeah, I mean, the ethics, uh, yeah, it's probably shit. But again, we're just saying, overall, if the consumer likes the product, if the, if the person... If I like Pal World, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter how it's really made. Nobody really gives a shit. You were clothing from China, made by little Chinese kids, and you don't give a shit. You you really don't. You and you still wear it. Your iPhone is made from China. My people were getting overworked to death, it's like, like modern day slavery, and you still use it, and you still continue to buy the product. And you like it and you want some more so that's all we're saying that's all he's saying like this is the whole point of the discussion they don't get the point of why we're saying this basically i mean shit uh in science and medicine yes can be useful no disagreement there but fuck ai when it comes to artists or entertainment and also your burger and now that you described this image ai has already attempted drinks aka coca-cola and it tasted like cough medicine so no fuck ai well but overall when time goes on and on, I mean, it'll improve, obviously. So, and we're not really saying, like, like fuck them. I mean, it was kind of taken out of context. But I guess they are got to say it. But again, like, the, the main issue is what we're talking about. If the product, I, I keep saying this 20 times, if the product is good, it doesn't matter how it's made. It really doesn't. It may suck, but it doesn't matter. You guys love the wine and shit on a product when it fails to deliver the amount of quality and care you expected yet remain so willing to push for AI. When it is currently creative, creating massive layoffs and strips away studios from their best elements. Please make it make sense. Well, again, um, Power World is good, so... Yeah. If it used some AI elements, it's good. Yeah, it's a pretty good game. I mean, yeah, AAA studios, all AAA studios. I mean, they got like of uh, uh, workers, hundreds of workers. The product is crappy. Yeah, it's been crappy since like, you know, this thing started to turn to shit in like since 2015. So, I mean, if AI makes it easier and it makes it a game like Power World, then I'll take it. It's creating massive layoffs and uh, I mean, yeah, that, that, sure, that sucks, but like, it strips away studios from their best elements. I wouldn't really say that. I mean, I mean, if the game is shit, the game is shit. I mean, it takes away the people that makes the game. Sure, I mean, but the game is still shit. Like, you know, AAA student, like, I don't I don't think it'll make a difference because it's not really the people working on the game. It's actually the, the, it's the people up top that make the game shit with the deadlines and the crunch and stuff and them wanting, like, microtransactions and shit and taking the passion out of the game. Um, it, it, I think it's really just the people up top at that point. If it's completely AI, if it makes a good game, that's good. Um, if it makes a bad game, well then it's just a bad game. I mean, shit, don't buy it. A good game is a good game, a bad game is a bad game. It doesn't really matter who the fuck makes it, what the fuck makes it. I mean, that's just my opinion. Anybody, if, if AI can make the game, it's fine. But again, AI is getting better and better, so it'll most likely 
be better AI games in the future. Genuinely disappointed in his take as an artist. I, I've seen the pain AI has caused. Yeah, but again, he's not wrong. Like, how, how many times do we gotta say this? Oh, is we gotta say this? Like, I, I think, I mean, they overall think, uh, yeah, it's bad that people are losing their jobs and shit. But like, if it makes, again, if it makes my life easier, uh, and if I like the product, I don't have a problem with it. And most people wouldn't have a problem with it. I mean, that's just, just end it right there. I mean, nothing else matters. I mean, what they say is completely logical. I mean, it sucks that AI is stealing shit. Yeah, sure. Taking jobs and stuff. Yeah. I would like some, uh, more voice acting gigs and shit, but, uh, shit. I mean, if it makes, if it makes the product better and more and easier and it costs them less money than I, I mean, shit, I can't do anything about it. Yeah, I mean, stealing is bad, is bad, is bad, but again, like, I mean, there's, there's not really we can do about it. AI is just going to get better and better and better. And they're really just talking about power world. I mean, they're just, they really just turned this into a general discussion. You think AI good or bad? I mean, generally, logically, it's good, but like, uh, for the human experience, I mean, I guess like job wise bad obviously you know because <laughs> then we 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 lose it our jobs and shit so yeah shot at a black man and took his shoes customized my ar like a black ops 2 just scammed a white kid out of some gorilla glue i don't want to fuck this bitch she smell like poo poo